Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to the Nerdcrate 2, to a new short and sweet summary for my English viewers. Always remember beforehand, if you want to see everything else, you got to check the info box up there. Today, for MB17A, Galvatorano by Fans Hobby, their rendition of Armada Galvatron, which is a pretty sweet dude. He's pretty sizey. Got a nice little bit of heft to him and a lot of play feature. Like this guy comes with a whole bunch. I'm going to give you a few little bit of a picture overview on this side right here where you can see the final score and everything I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to try and put it up during the video so it actually matches up when I talk about it. Final score pretty high for this guy because this guy's pretty much everything that I wanted. A um, little bit back in time, um, this was actually one of the few guys from Transformers that actually brought me back into the franchise. I saw that over here on a local store that was called Karstadt, uh, which is now sadly uh, dissolved, defunct, went into some other kind of shenanigan, whatever. But uh, I saw him and I had to get him and now having a masterpiece rendition from this is pretty crazy, I gotta tell you. Pretty crazy. So this is amazing. The box is a pretty much a perfect rendition on the third party side with a little bit of changes up here, up there and whatnot. Um, but overall the box is amazing. Window box with, they show you all the play features which is pretty pretty cool. Unbox, you got the big old tank which is amazing with a minicon up there you can plug in in different spaces and once you got everything unplugged that you can you pretty much have a mobile fortress which is a super cool piece which has a ramp to shoot the guys out uh, for a sit to play a place to sit for this guy so you can have an extra rocket launcher on his tank turret um, there's so much stuff there's so much stuff i believe even a compartment in the back a compartment in the back so you can store this guy in if you think you have no place where you can plug him or you say okay i don't want to have this guy in the box but that whole minicon weapon feature is a little bit too cheesy for me then you can store him away in his tank mode which is pretty amazing pretty amazing is also the heft and the build on this guy because you have great materials i believe after the last time i actually laid hands on a fans hobby fig feature fi figure with which, which was actually i believe their athena um i wasn't too enthused but they went around big time um i love the way this guy feels plastic quality is way better than before has a nice bit of heft no die cast um except for the machine parts and here like screws and the screws, screws and springs and whatnot but overall, this guy is amazing. The paint that is applied is, is, is very well, like, like, the, like the silver in these places here or the gold down here. Uh, comes full with tampons also. I'm going to try and show you that real quick. Um, that's on the inside of the little compartment for the minicon already. So there are some, there are some cool bits you can, you can see up there. And he can have just a really menacing walking pose. And overall, this guy just screams menacing also because of a light up feature. I don't have the batteries in. I don't fiddle with that. But the cool thing is the eyes are painted metallic red anyway. So even if you don't have the batteries in, this guy still looks menacing. You can have an exchangeable face that he, not ha that he doesn't have this goofy laugh. Um, you can have the original fins. You can have more angled fins like fitting to this guy. Um, and you got to see a little bit of a heads up here. You have to see about the insignia. This insignia here is pointed up. I hope you see that. This is a little bit dented because the clearance is not 100% on this guy for uh, this insignia. Either I'm going to really um, scratch it down so it lays on flat again or I'm going to put up a new one. But overall, I can only recommend you this guy if you like a little bit more of an abstract transformer, if you are into Transformers Armada or if you're just you know plain old a fan hobby completionist you can actually have no problems with this guy it's great the transformation is great amazing engineering holds all the poses that i put him through which are a lot so um yeah and you have the each action features like the like the like the um like the moving turret um i'm gonna see real quick does it work now uh no kind of doesn't currently i don't know there it is 
so uh, that's amazing you can have the pumping stuff if you have the batteries in there's also the sound stuff for him so uh, yeah high recommend for this guy um, like I said check out below uh, above if you want to see the full review um, movable treads so there's a whole lot to see from this guy um, but otherwise yeah I would say I will see you on the next review I hope this helped you for my English viewers like I said full stuff everything transformation and all on the full review and I will see you next time that was Gava Tarano that was me be good be well thanks for watching bye bye